Well, welcome back. Um, apologies, I look and feel really disheveled because I woke up today at half eight. That's very early for me. And then started doing coursework from half nine till half two it is now. And I got it all finished in one day. I beat the odds. I guess I'm built different. So my family are at work. So that means two things, two things. Um, I either do a YouTube video or I blast a song with loads of curse words in it and sing them really loud because there's no one to tell me I can't. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do today, right? I'll make a coffee. I'll give you a coffee tutorial. Um, maybe I'll give you a little room tour. I'm going on a walk later, so I'll need to get ready and I'll vlog that. So, strap yourselves in. The tutorial y'all been waiting for, the iced coffee. Okay, so let's try and do a speedy. So we start with this ice cube tray. I love it so much because look, it's all bendy. Because I used to, the other one we had, I used to have to go like this. And then my mommy would get all annoyed and be like, stop banging that on the table. Basically, you can just pop them out like this. I'm making this look harder than it is. Oh fuck. For reference, here's the other one. So we have a battered due to me smacking it against the table. Okay, so the cup I use corresponds to like the kind of mood I'm in. So I'm trying to get into that summer vibes, you know? So I guess I'll use the pineapple cup. Next, I get my Kenko Coffee Company coffee. <gasps> that was an alliteration. Okay, and then I get about three spoonfuls of this and put it in like a cup. Now we're gonna get the water. Um, I don't let it boil all the way, I stop it. You know when it's like starting to go like tss? Like before it gets that, I stop it because I heard if you put like really boiling water on it, it like burns the coffee. So I just put like a wee bit of that, probably like I don't know measurements, but maybe like 50 milliliters, just a wee tiny bit. You since I was being all serious, sir, it's giving me the ick. So now you're just gonna pour that into your glass. You'll see how much it is when it pours in, it's barely any. Just that much, okay. Um, then we're gonna get a spoonful of vanilla extract and we're just going to pour that in now we're going to put the milk in so we're going to fill the rest up with milk don't come for me for how much milk i use this is a latte okay bitches can we also just ignore lance's big tory coffee machine because i do not identify with that lifestyle so i usually use a straw to drink things but it's a bit of a conflicting theme isn't it because this is like christmas chic and this is like summertime chic so um, I think I'm gonna use this metal straw instead. Um, metal straw, save the turtles. Mmm, delicious. So I'm gonna call this wee segment the worst makeup routine ever to exist ever ever. Um, so basically if you wanna look as sexy as me, then just keep watching. So I'm gonna show you all the products first. I will not be linking them down below cause I don't know if they're good and I don't fucking know how to do that, okay? So we got my next white Finish matte, matte finish finny matte. I think that was French actually. <laughs> this thing, Hollywood W7, num oh number seven. <laughs> this is so chaotic. Lasting perfection, loose satin powder. Um, Fit Me Maybelline concealer. An eyebrow brush that I got off Shane. Exposed for shopping on Shane. Elf Poreless Putty Primer. And some eyelash curlers I got from Savers. Um, can we talk about how Savers is the most cursed shop to ever exist? So I'm gonna give you some story times while I do this. Speaking of places that are cursed, me and Aiden were in Poundland the other day and it was so chaotic because, right, there was this woman and me and Aiden were doing this big weird voice, right? Basically, we have this persona called Linguini. I might go into it in more depth in another video, but I was like pointing to things and I was like, you should get the Buddha. Like that's the way the voice is, okay? And it was like a wee Buddha she was gonna buy. And this woman came behind us and started laughing over her shoulder. And she went like this, ah, Mother's Day. And we were like, what? And then she followed me down the air, like laughing at me and like pointing, but she thought, oh, I felt bad. There was probably something wrong with her. Like, but it was just really funny and cursed. And then there was this big cheeky woman and she all stormed in past like the person at the front. And the woman at the front was like, are you exempt or something? Because she wasn't wearing a mask. I don't know. It was just so chaotic. I'm also going to admit something to y'all. So, I could be classed as a dry texter. I'm sorry, but people text me stuff, right? Apparently, I text like a big cheeky fuckboy, right? So, people text me stuff and I just be like, okay. Like, I don't think that's cheeky being like, okay. But everyone gets so mad at me for it. But like, what else am I meant to say? Like, okay, X, 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 X. Ooh, gives me the ick when people tax of axes. I hate it so much. 
unless it's like someone I don't really know like like if I'm just trying to be friendly and ask someone something then I'll use an axe but other than that no way Jose. Basically what I just did there with my makeup is I put on the concealer and then I get the beauty blender and I just blend it till it blends back off my face like there's literally no point in it ever. So I thought I'd tell you some of my sayings as well because you'll um really notice that I say them all. So the first one is all. So like I'll say it before anything. I'll be like, you're being all serious. Or I'll be like, I'm all angry. So that's the first one. The second one is I just call everything serious. Like someone could literally be doing the normal thing ever. Like Ollie used to be sitting cooking his food and I would go on and be like, you're being so serious. The third one is like the something of the something, for example, you're being the serious of the serious. In an attempt to make me look less dead inside, I put a wee bit of highlighter in the inner corner of my eye. But apparently um, bags under your eyes are coming in, but I don't think the ones like mine, like these are too much. And then I just finished that all off with curling my eyelashes because my eyelashes go like down the way for some reason. Um, and I put like the tiniest bit of mascara on. And then I'm just going to put on some of my finishing spray. I fucked it using. I let my hair dry naturally last night. So the only choice is to just try and curl it and try and save it. Maybe put it in a ponytail just. I don't know. But I look like fucking Simba. Hair curling routine. So I basically just like get it in like probably like two thirds of my hair is tied up. And the other third I keep down. So I just tie this up with a bobble. And then... Just curl in sections and that's it. Also, some of my mates be like, I can't curl my hair, I can't curl my hair. Like, hi, you literally just wrap it around it. Like, I'm the most stupid person ever and even I can curl my hair. Look, it's, hi, hi, is that hard? Right, this is, this is what it looks like, but, right, it looks messy, but I'm putting it on a ponytail anyway, so it doesn't matter. Right, okay guys, so here's the outfit for the day. It's really revolutionary and I think, I think it might change fashion history, okay? So we have these really cute earrings Shauna bought me. My 100 pound necklace my mommy got me. Really tacky rings that I like to wear. A black t-shirt and these dad jeans from Collusion because this is literally my second time wearing them. Also, to top off the basic bitches outfit, a black puffer coat. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Shoe and sock game is hard as shit today. So before I go out, I thought I'd do a little room tour. Don't mind that it's a bit messy. That just makes it more authentic because, you know, I'm one of the realest YouTubers in the game. First of all, we have the desk area. Um, Don't mind this chair. Sometimes I sit back in it and it almost stabs and impales me. Now let's move on to the TV area, guys. Um, so we have my star projector. Sometimes I put it on the red mode and try and seduce my friends. Um, we have my card. Oh, don't hack into my bank. Um, we also have my plant that my mommy got me. She got me it from Poundland, you know, only the best for the best daughter. Hopefully she didn't run into any cursed grannies when she was getting it. Um, next we have my TV. Oh, you might be wondering what this is. That's actually my tripod, which I filmed my videos on. I know, very professional. Um, next we have my two candles that I've burnt out. I also stole them from my mummy. Why, like, why does she put her name on it? That's really weird. Above the TV, my mummy put up these, like, lights that have hooks on them. And I didn't have anywhere to put my necklaces, so I just hung them up on it. It looks really DLA, but a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do, you know what I mean? I left my jewelry box in Liverpool. Um, then we have these really straight mummy signs. Um, happiness blooms from within. Let your dreams blossom. Okay, okay, inspiration. Next, we have um, the little table area, I like to call it. Um, this used to have lights in it, right? My mind is so fucking powerful. I started to use it as a jewelry box. Also, you might have seen this bottle sitting on this table. This is just what I drink my water from because I just drink so much water that it needs to be in something massive. But... I was in a really nice restaurant before, you call Kopi, I think you call Kopi, yeah? And um, that's what they give you your water in, right? But I was so like, not used to drinking out of a glass that like it was sitting on the table and I just felt like, I just felt like this. I've almost drank out of it. And all the waiters and waitresses were probably like, who, who is this wee trump in our restaurant? Fun fact, I go to the toilet about seven times before I leave the house. Thinking now, probably cause I drink those big bottles of water just for fun. The fact this is one of our tourist attractions, like it's so irrelevant. Okay, I've got home from a walk 
I've done nine kilometer walk, pretty good. And I decided to treat myself to some weedos because just I haven't had like cereal in ages and it feels like it's gonna hit different. Um, so I forgot to vlog the rest of yesterday because I fell asleep at literally half eight. Who falls asleep at half eight? And I'm only up now and it's like eight o'clock, so I slept for like, is that like 12 hours or something? So I might do my vlog a wee bit into the day as well, like a wee two day one. Disclaimer, the light in my kitchen is so cursed. So maybe I'll make like the wee smoothie bowls that I make. Um, It is literally the most simplest recipe ever. It's two ingredients. So you're gonna wanna start with your frozen berries or just, just whatever frozen fruit you like most. And you're gonna fill it up about about halfway. So you're gonna fill it to about here. And then the next ingredient is milk. I just use normal milk cause I'm not a fucking influencer oat milk type bitch. So you're gonna fill it up to about here. That's satisfactory. Actually, it might need a little bit more because I hate having to open it and add more milk like halfway through. So about that much. Anytime I'm making my breakfast, my phone would be like, are you going to make noise? Because I have to have the blender on and then the kettle on and I'd be getting my eggs out and it'd be popping everywhere and I have to all shake this. <laughs> Once that's all blended, you're gonna get a bowl, preferably a clear bowl, because everything hits different in a clear bowl. Open it up and pour it in. Um, I don't know how it gets all over me, but using to look at that, and then we're just gonna smooth it out. I'm not doing this justice, wait, I'll get a better shot at the end. Next, you're gonna get some fruit, preferably grapes. I just like grapes, and you're gonna put a couple of them on the top. Then you're gonna get some granola. I like, you no know, this, you no know, like the seedy ones, not like the big chunky ones, like the nice seedy ones. Yeah. And you're gonna finish it off with a drizzle of honey. I promise my lips aren't crusty. The smoothie bowl just sticks them. But I think I'm just going to finish the video here because I'm not really doing anything else interesting. So I hope you've enjoyed and like and subscribe.